Hello, my pretties. Here we are on Halloween Eve Eve, and we're getting into lesson nine. And I just want you to remember that I expect only the best of you tomorrow. Jessica Charles, please come to the office. Jessica, Jessica Charles, please come to the office. Thank you. You guys are going to do your absolute very best work and be your absolute very best selves for a guest teacher. I, as you guys know, am going to be learning um, right along with you. I'll be learning different things. I'll be excited to share that uh, wonderful knowledge, some of my wonderful knowledge with you when I return on Wednesday and Halloween. Uh, so we're going to get into lesson nine. We're going to work on multi-digit problem, uh, multi, multi step problem solving that involves multi-digit calculations. Ooh, it's a lot. Uh, so please use your um, strategies. Read, draw, write, retell, uh, draw something that is meaningful and so that you can understand exactly what's going on in the word problem. Uh, and just take your time and do your best. So let's take a look at a problem right now. Here is that one fabulous problem I promised you. Um, and we are in L9, lesson 9, on 10, 29, 18. Um, I am, I guess we should do orange since we're just so close to Halloween. It's a good orange. Uh, we are going to read this problem. We are going to use our strategies for word problems, RDW. Read the problem first. A Hudson Valley farmer has 26 employees. He pays each employee $410 per week. After paying his workers for one week, the farmer has $162 left in his bank account. How much money did he have at first? Very interesting. Um, I am not meaning to offend a Hudson Valley farmer. But personally, when I'm using the retell strategy of our um, problem solving strategy work, I'm not that personally invested in a Hudson Valley farmer. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a, um, let's say, fifth grade. Um, I'm running out of room. A fifth grade entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, I'm pretty sure I've spelled that correctly. Entrepreneur is someone that starts businesses. This fifth grade entrepreneur we will say is Dylan. So fifth grade entrepreneur has 26 employees. Way to go, Dylan. He pays each employee $410 per week. Wow. After paying his workers for one week, the fifth... We'll put fifth grade entrepreneur, fifth GE, has $162 left in his bank account. How much money did he have at first? So when we're doing this retail step, you guys, it's all about making it personal. And if we think about this problem as um, surrounding around someone that we know, all of a sudden this is much more meaningful to us. So feel free, we've talked about this, feel free to rewrite it if you would like. Um, okay, so all of a sudden now I'm seeing this happen, that we have this brilliant young entrepreneur in our own class with 26 employees. Perhaps it's 25 of his classmates and me on his payroll. I don't know. I wouldn't mind $410 per week. Not sure what we're having to do as your employee. Maybe like fold paper airplanes. I'm not sure what sort of business you have going on, Dylan, but $410 per week. I mean, I would fold paper airplanes for that. We'll have to talk more about that. Um, okay, so he has 26 employees. Let's go ahead and continue this retell step by writing down what we know. He has 26 employees, and um, we, I'll just go ahead and insert myself, we are getting, I meant this, I meant for this to be like a fancy arrow. We are getting $410 per week. Okay, so now let's figure out what is he paying as far as the salary goes weekly. So it's 26 copies of 410. In order to determine what he's paying out, 
weekly, we need to make 46 copies of 410. Well, we've been working really hard on that. So I feel completely comfortable with the fact that you guys can um, attack this problem. It's 410 times 26. Make sure your place values are lined up. We're going to multiply 6 into 0, 1, and 4, and then we're going to multiply 20 into 0, 1, and 4. So 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Second line, this is in our tens place value. So we are looking at a 20. We know it's going to end in a 0 because it's a 20. 20 times 0, well, actually it's just a double 0. Now we've established our place value, so I can just think about 2 times 1, which is 2, or 200 times 10, I'm sorry, 20 times 10, which is 200, okay? Now we're going to look at, actually, you know, I forgot to cross this out. Once we're finished with our first row, go ahead and cross out your ones because we're, we're done. And it's important, as you guys, as we saw today, multiplying larger and larger numbers, it's really important to stay organized here. Um, okay, so now we're looking at 2 times 4, which is 8. It's beautiful. We have two partial products. We need to add those up. 0. 6 plus 0 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, and then 2 plus 8 is 10. Okay, so in one week, Dylan is paying his 26 employees $10,660. That is not the question, though. The question is, how much money did he have at first? So he paid us all, his employees, $10,660 dollars, but he had $162 left in his account after he paid us all our hard-earned money for making those paper airplanes. So he paid out $10,660. $10, he had $162 left in his account. So in order to find out what he had in his account at first when he started, we're going to add $162 to the $10,660. Again, he paid this out. They want to know um, what did Dylan start with in his bank account. So we're going to add $162 to what he paid out. And as it so happens, we are expert adders at this point. We've been really working hard at this. So we have 0 plus 2 is 2. 6 plus 6 is 12. Bring our 1 over. 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8. 0 plus nothing is 0, and 1 plus nothing is 10. So final answer here is $10,822. Uh, secret word, you guys, is going to be who is the fifth grade entrepreneur? And this problem, who is the fifth grade entrepreneur? That is your secret word for tomorrow, which you need to check in uh, with our homework checkers. Have a great night, you guys. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Be your best selves. I will expect nothing less than that. And I'm so excited uh, to see you guys all on Wednesday.